right. Now, I want to talk about mm -hmm. the focus of, there's a lot of focus on unemployment, violent crime, hunger issues in America, yes. to the point that it almost uh, deconstructs the American dream. Did you set out to do this before you mm. sat down to write the novel? Well, um, you know what? Mm -hmm. I live in that community. Yeah. And I've lived there for many years. You know, I first went there in 1981 um, as a student. Uh, and then I taught there for some time. I left, then went to Cape Town. Oh, yeah, we are in Cape Town. We're in Cape Town. Came yeah. to Cape Town, <laughs> to, U to UCT, mm -hmm. did my PhD here, lived there. Then went back there yeah. to, to work there and so on. Um, so it's a, it's a community I, I, I know very well. Mm -hmm. And to, to me, those are normal things there. Yeah. You know, uh, so I was not deconstructing anything. I was just writing about life as mm -hmm. people live it there, yeah. which is just normal, mm -hmm. you know. In my mind, it didn't occur okay that to some people, uh, life is not like that, yeah. you know. So I realized, oh, to, to South Africans, uh, uh, America is not like this, the, uh, like in the book. No, it is like this, yeah. you know. Uh, the America uh, uh, where I live, you know, uh, is not the America of the bold and the beautiful or whatever soap opera that you watch here, you know. I, uh, I live in, in the Appalachian region, you know, where there is poverty, yeah. you know. The, the, the picture that I give here is the accurate picture of, uh, of, of this community, of, yeah. of the America that I know, yeah. you, you, you know. And I was not doing it to, to deconstruct or to show people that, hey, actually, this is how America is. Mm -hmm. I was just painting the, the, the faithful life as I know it there, mm -hmm. you know, as accurately a, a, as possible. Um, this woman, for instance, in the story, goes through therapy, yeah. you know. Uh, as, as a result of suffering uh, this trauma, um, and uh, and so on. My my wife is a psychotherapist, mm -hmm. a, a, a licensed uh, psychotherapist, uh, uh, by the state board of of Ohio, and works in these communities. And she deals with um, problems of drug, drug ab abuse, wha what you call tick here. You call it mm -hmm. tick, uh, tick yeah. th this uh, meth, you mm -hmm. know, uh, that I write about, yeah. which is prevalent then. You know, uh, drug abuse, uh, domestic abuse, and so on, uh, and all that. Th those are, are the problems that, um, that she has to, to, to deal with yeah. on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, you see. Uh, for me to get Rachel, my, my, my main character, to go through all that counseling and so on, I had, you know, to, to, to research from the things that she, she experiences mm -hmm. uh, in her practice uh, as a psychotherapist, mm -hmm. to read the, 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 the books that, you know, she reads, and to follow, you know, how she goes about these therapies mm -hmm. when she deals with people who have been traumatized like Rachel, mm -hmm. you see, so that my book should be faithful to. So, so there are Americans who live that kind of, of, yeah. of life. There is an America which is like that, you see. Not all America is, you know, is, 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 is glamour and glitter mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and, and like that. There's America which is very depressed and poor. There's America where children, the only meal that they will get is the one that they've got at school you know, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, they're going to struggle, you know, what next? They're, they're going to eat until the next day when they, when, when they go to school. Yeah. Yeah. 